Here we have a video showing my Ericsson 1937 made switchboard. I don't know much about it. I believe this one was used on the railways because on the railways they used one similar to this. Well, how it was, I was it say, had three, no, nine telephone heads with these things and three exchange lines. I'm not sure if this was used on the railways or not. I know I have a friend who is quite much who knows um, who works on the railways. I'm not sure if he would know if this was used or not. Cause similar ones were used like this on the railways. Similar to ones that um, the one that's on the air, um, Hurstbridge line, the one that's with E, has one of these on a similar thing to this on display with two handsets either side. But this one is wide with an Ericsson N17B from the 1964. But the t this is only on here for the time being because the phone it uses is a GPO series one like that with a dial. This foot switchboard didn't work when I got it. Uh, no, we wired it to make it work. And what I have here, this double black one, is a 40 volt, I think AC or DC um, power source. This is rated 46 volts. I'm not, I'm not worried about it overpowering. This is it's meant for 46 volts. Then this um, RJ12 cord is the is the operator phone. That one is the landline, and those two are the extensions. As I got a phone out there, you can't see it, but there's a black bakelite phone on the wall. And here, I push the ring key down. I'll do it again. And here, ringing. This one, they all work. And I'll get my mum to pick up the Huawei phone, um, the black one. Go and pick it up so it sets off the dial. There we go. I'll leave the camera on here. I'm going to set off the switchboard. You'll notice the dial will come down like this. It does have a buzzer. As it's later I'm doing this, I'm not going to have that buzzer sounding. When I pick up the phone, and if it was the buzzer was on or something like that, then to answer the call, you push it up, bring that up, and the offer has to be connected. I'm not sure if that's going to stay there or not. Let's put the Ericsson thing on my mic there, but Ericsson has a little microphone here on the thing. When the caller hangs up, and the operator hangs up, the door will clear. Now, they do have the ringing thing I demonstrated earlier, but if you want to ring... I'll hold this camera and demonstrate that. Hold down the ring key. Some switchboards, when you hold down the ring key, it will ring the bell, but this one you have to crank the dynamo um, magneto crank on the side to generate 90 volts AC current. And this also has an exchange function where this flap comes down when there where an exchange call comes in. Before I get my mum to ring the landline, I will demonstrate that um, this buzzer will sound... Oh, I can't lift it. Right, that will go right. I think I'm out of focus now. Can you send a ring socket to the house and demonstrate this sounding? I'm filming. I'll silence that switch or the thing only there, the buzzer, only the bell will ring. But a correct railway bell up there. Um, that rings that and that sets a flat. To answer it, you put these two keys up. Say something on the telephone. That is working. Um, those bells up here are made in England, but around the railway signal boxes, these were used um, around the railways. This is a correct one from the railways. Not sure where it was located though, and that didn't work either. When I got, I got that working. That, that if you if you um, work on the railways, you, if you go in the south on signal boxes, that one one of them is still mounted on the wall, but the one in South Geelong is mounted that way up. I'm going to turn the camera around the one way to show you. And there's one at Liddy Dale, still on the um, wall as well. I've seen it on pictures on the internet, the bell. 
but these bells are commonly used on railways in the um, 70s. But this is my railway switch. If anyone knows if this was a railway switchboard or not, can you please let me know in the comment thing in the comments below, or the Christian things below, whatever they pronounce it. That's my old 9037 Ericsson switchboard from the UK.